money. Uh, so you're trying to like take pictures of our culture and go and sell it bar and you want to come and sort us, you want to come and pay us. Who born you? Eh? Bring money or you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you guys, how you doing? Uh, well, I was trying something new here. So, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Kawam Kenweb. And if this is your first time here, kindly subscribe, okay? And smash the like button. So, for today's video, I just wanted to be free in it and just do freestyle and see what happens. We have been doing quite a lot of reactions on this channel, and it's been good and hopefully we do more and also explore more ideas and what to do i'm looking at also doing like a reaction to some movie trailers i just haven't let it gather enough research to solidify that idea yet but i'm gonna just try it and i think this is like the experimental stage of my channel where i get to experiment freely because i haven't really built a serious following and it's not yet like say, it doesn't have a foundation on something right because i'm still interested in doing financial videos and today's video is also going to be that if you can tell by the title we're going to talk about bitcoin but before bitcoin i had the opportunity to go to barrick and laddie barrick and laddie is <laughs> somewhere in plateau state okay let me let me not just embarrass myself here where can i be somewhere in plateau state Is the location in Plateau State? I wish I had more. If I'm editing this video, probably in the description, I'll explain what Barrick and Laddie is. Probably because I do not want to say anything that is incorrect. Okay, but just know Barrick and Laddie is somewhere in Plateau State, and yeah, people have been saying that I do not show more of Plateau State or I should show more of Plateau State and yo it's not easy to record videos and be comfortable outside like huh okay it's not it's not easy people people who have a very good time just like in their skin and very comfortable holding the phone out in public or just holding the camera and just like talking while recording it draws a lot of attention that, that's just the word it draws a lot of attention and with attention you don't know what to get in nigeria because not a lot of people ignore you a lot of people want to like talk to you find out what you're doing interrupt you so you have to do a lot of explaining and sometimes people ask you like do you have permission to be here and it could be wild in some cases like in lagos if you bring out your camera out in the streets i think majorly on the mainland um the boys there want to like yo <laughs> bum, yo <laughs> bring money bring money uh, so you're trying to like take pictures of our culture and go and sell it bar and you want to come and sort us, you want to come and pay us. Who born you, eh? Bring money or you know go carry your camera and come out from here. So this kind of threats scare me and I know it, you might not necessarily get injured, but still prevention is um better than cure because I'm very bad when it comes to confrontations and I have anxiety so i don't want to be thinking of the permutations of what scenario will happen what will happen next what might happen what might not happen like my brain is tired i can't think to that extent but i wish i could say barricade light is cool i can't really think of a very good tourist attraction site right now 
um, in Barrican Lady, but it's quite different. There's a lot of land. If you're from Lagos, there is land, like flat land. You can plant anywhere you want. There's a lot of rocks. If you haven't seen rock, if you're from Lagos, <laughs> I'll go. Apologies for Lagos watching this video. I do. You guys don't have land, right? But there's land. There's plenty of land in Barrican Lady, flat land. Okay? And yeah, that that's just one. That's just. That's a selling point. Uh, let's not just say that is just. That is a selling point. Some places don't have land. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's about Barricade Laddie. Uh, Barricade Laddie was cool. But moving on to Bitcoin. I wish I googled the topic Bitcoin or what the price is right now before starting this video. But nonetheless, let's go. So Bitcoin is. Bitcoin has a way of making you feel stupid if you do not buy it. Like. Just be on your own. Oh, Bitcoin is two million. Oh, that's quite expensive. Let's not buy it now. You wake up some months later, you find out that Bitcoin is seven point one million naira. Uh -huh. So if you had bought one Bitcoin, you probably have doubled your money by now. If you bought it as far back as like two years ago, when the price was still horribly low compared to what it is now. 7.1 million is quite a lot. And to make matters worse, just in the last nine days or 10 days, Bitcoin was around 6.4 million Naira. And right now it's 7.1 million Naira. So that's over 500,000 Naira increase on your investments. Like, it's not bad. 500,000 Naira in nine days. Eh? That, that, that is a marketing marketing campaign right there that's your ad copy what more do you need uh how many signups do you need i can give you <laughs> okay so it's quite it's quite it's quite good to see it i mean i use luno the app and i think i bought some bitcoins um i can't remember when I, how much i bought i think it was like five thousand naira. and right now it's like seven thousand naira. so that's not bad and it makes you feel like, oh, I wish I bought more, I wish I bought more. But the thing with investments or what I've come to understand with investments is, I don't think investing is the problem. The problem is, do you have a source of income? And if you have a source of income, how well do you manage that source of income, right? And what are the remnants, if I may say so? What are the remnants that remain, the excesses, I think is a better word, that you get after that source of income. So if you don't get a lot of excesses from your current source of income, it's now wise to get something else to either supplement it or become the main cake, right? Then from there, if you have a lot of excesses, it's now what then do you do with these excesses while maintaining your current source of income? Hence come in investment. But if you're thinking that investment is just going to make you to a millionaire overnight, like come, like come now. Hmm? Don't, don't, don't shout. Don't shout. Shh. Keep quiet. Because it doesn't work that way, to be honest. If you look, many people want to quote Warren Buffett here, but dude, it took him like how many years to become a millionaire? Do you have that patience? Huh? And you also have the privileges that he had right and it wasn't that he was just investing his own money he had a fund he was managing a fund a pool of people's money to get that if i'm wrong please correct me because i didn't write the biography of my friend but my point here is it's hard to really make a sustainable income just based of off investments if you don't have a serious stable well-grounded source of income so when you get a very good source of income, it's now very good or it's very easy to diversify. You can now then buy Bitcoin. Imagine if you're being paid, let's say, six million naira every month in Nigeria, as a Nigerian working in Nigeria. That is roughly 72 million naira in a year, right? And you're still living in your parents' house. You don't pay rent. You don't need car because it's a remote job. You just work in your house. You don't even pay for food because it's your parents' food you eat. You don't pay for anything, basically. And if you're wise, you could save basically all that money. You don't even need to even spend 100k or 50k per month. You're not buying clothes, right? If you're very frugal, uh, you don't spend a lot. You don't go out a lot. So you have a lot of excess to save. So then you could be like, oh, this month I'll buy 6 million naira worth of Bitcoin. Next month, I'll be like, oh, I can save for two months and put that money into treasury bills. You know, like, now, 
do, finding what to do with your money then becomes a job because you're like you have all this money and you don't want to have them lie around in the bank what then do you do to them to basically secure it so that inflation doesn't chip in away uh, the money that you have worked hard for so if you don't have the privilege to say oh i have this pool of funds or i have this capital base then dream mean about investing is a scam i'm sorry to say so <laughs> like do not kid yourself do not just do not just fall into that trap because a lot of people are falling into that trap where they see oh um um buy this farmland or by coming to this agri-tech give us 50k and after nine months we give you 60,000 there yes that's good but where are you getting the 50k from right you can't keep on doing that if you don't have somewhere to get 50k from in the first place so it's like okay i've made so much money and i have an excess of 50,000 there i don't just know what to do with it right i don't start a business i don't stash the money away so why don't you just keep it in agri-tech and agri-tech platform provides you an interest in form of earning for leaving that money with them so that's where it makes sense so my main point here is just get a source of income and then think about investing later later on right but then again just try and buy at least more bitcoin so that you will see you will deal with those increasing because now it looks like we've seen a lot of articles saying that bitcoin might rise up to like let's say a million naira per coin I mean, a million dollars per coin. So that's like, right now, black market value is, in Nigeria, is like 460 million naira. Oof, that's, that's quite a lot. That's, that, that's a lot. So imagine if you wanted to buy Bitcoin with like 10,000 naira, by the time it's 1 million naira per coin, I'll be like 0 0.0000000. <laughs> I'm just joking, but yeah. So get a main source of income and just ignore bitcoin for now or try to buy it if you can buy it there's no harm and always know what you can take as risk don't go and use your life savings i'm joking around please people will save out there and google yeah google is your friend just google information and try to research a certain entity or platform before you go investing in them so yeah that's all I have to say for now. See you in my next one. In my next one. Okay? Peace out. <laughs>